North Korea's media environment is highly controlled, but also full of surprises. Fifteen months after his arrest, Kenneth Bay has given his first press conference, under armed guard and perhaps under heavy editorial control. I know that there have been reports that I have been treated badly. What I'm going to make clear and emphasize today is that during the last 15 months, there has been no infringement on my human rights and I have not suffered any unfair or severe treatment. The government of this country has treated me from a humanitarian standpoint. The message, delivered through a handful of foreign media outlets, not North Korea's own state broadcaster, was designed perhaps to catch the attention of the audience across the Pacific. As far as I know, I have now been here for the longest amongst American citizens who came here and got detained. I believe that my problem can be solved by close cooperation and agreement between the American government and the government of this country. It was only last month that another American detainee was making a similar impassioned media appearance. Merrill Newman was later deported from North Korean custody after appearing on North Korean state television, reading what appeared to be an apology. But Mr. Bay's release, it seems, demands more than an admission of guilt. The message delivered to his government today was a plea for direct assistance, not words, but action. Relations between the U.S. and North Korea, already bruised by sanctions, threats and a nuclear test, are set to worsen with the onset of joint U.S.-South Korean military drills next month. Is North Korea hoping that Kenneth Bay will be the bait that gets Washington talking? Lucy Williamson, BBC News, Seoul.